So I do a lot of playing on single player, and that's because there are a lot of advantages to being on single player. A lot of people know you can have the unlimited respects. You can obviously set the player's difficulty count. You get the same map every time. But did you know, actually, you can get unlimited rewards for the Larzik socket quest. So you can socket as many items as you want to without having to play all the way through the game over and over and over again with different characters or trying to get one of your friends or buddies or trading to get someone to socket for you like you have to do online. I'm going to show you how to do this little trick to get unlimited socket quest rewards right now. So I am on my main windows here because it does require you to do a little bit of work in the game files. All you have to do is do some copying and pasting of save files. It's not that elaborate or in depth, so don't worry. So I'm going to show you two separate ways on how to get these unlimited socket quests on single player. The first one, you need an available open socket quest on one of your characters. So you need to have already been through the game and beat it. There's another way in order to do this. Let's say you've already used all your socket quests on single player. So you don't have an available one. You don't want to play all the way through normal, like four hours or two hours or however fast you play through normal. Anyways, you don't want to spend all that time. There is a way here that you can get an open side quest within just a couple of minutes. Now, it does require you to have a copy of the old Diablo 2, not Diablo 2 Resurrected, but old school regular Diablo 2, uh, you know, LOD with the expansion. Now we'll jump into the first way, and that's assuming that you have a character that already has an open socket quest on it. Now here I am, single player. I'm pretty sure that this character, Conan the Barbarian, actually has an open socket quest on it. So I'll just run and show you real quick and confirm that he does indeed have an open socket quest. And there we are. Conan has an open socket quest. All right, now you got to find where your saved games are at. Generally, they're always in the same spot. You come into your uh, files down here, go to your main hard drive that things are stored on, go to user, go to your computer, then go to saved games, and then go to Diablo 2 Resurrected, and that is where your save folders will be. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go down to the character that I want, that is Conan right here. So just go ahead and highlight everything. I'm just clicking here and holding shift and coming up here. You can drag whatever way you wanna use to select everything. Now you can either click right click and click copy, or when you have everything selected, you can just control C. Now that is now copied. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, I can just go ahead and close this because I actually opened a shortcut to those saved games, which is right here. I created a folder that is empty here on my desktop. You can do this other ways, but this is easiest, called Socket Quest. Go ahead and open it up. Just click inside here, right click, and then hit V, or uh, control V in here, I mean, or you can right click and you'll be able to click paste in here. Now I have a copy of that file exactly as it stays right now in here, separate from the save game folder. The game will always look inside that saved games folder for the character files. So anything that is in here, this character will stay exactly like this for eternity, as long as you don't change or delete anything. Alrighty, we'll head over to Larzik here, and let's just say, hypothetically, you want to socket whatever item. We have this sword right here, we're going to socket. We're going to go ahead and add the sockets to the item. Boom, there you go. And we have one socket on this magic sword. Now, the important thing is, do not put this in your normal personal stash. Make sure whatever item this is, you stick it in your shared stash, because this, when you save and exit the game, this will be saved exactly how it is, but we're actually going to end up deleting this character. So anything in the personal stash, anything you put on the character will be deleted if it is changed from what you did on the character before you save the files into that other folder. So that's pretty much what's going to happen. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you me doing it exactly right now. Just go ahead and save and exit as normal. Now, once you're on the window screen, go back to that saves folder that I went ahead and made a shortcut to. And we're going to go down to Conan and we're actually going to delete the character. Now you did have him saved already. Make sure you double check, triple check, quadruple check. Do not delete the wrong folders because you're going to have a problem. We are definitely in the actual saves folder. Go ahead and delete Conan. And we'll just go ahead and close that for now. Go over to Socket Quest. Now we're going to go ahead and copy Conan because this was copied and saved over here before I use the Socket Quest. So the Socket Quest will still be active and able to use on there. I went ahead and copied it. I'm going to come back over here. Control V and paste the Conan file back in here. We'll just close that out and fire up Diablo 2 resurrected again. Now here we are back in hell difficulty again. You can see right here that that is that random garbage sword, but just for an example, I socketed it to show you. Now we're gonna come over here and I'm still on Conan. 
And as you can see, the socket quest is there again. And the character is exactly the way it was, the way I saved it before. All I did was come in here, use a socket quest, leave and delete the character, and then paste the character back on. That's the first way you can get unlimited socket quests in Diablo 2 Resurrected. Now, if you don't have one available on a character, I'm going to show you how to get one in just a couple of minutes and then do the similar thing with that character. Now, I did mention you have to have an old version of Diablo 2, not Diablo 2 Resurrected, but the original Diablo 2. Now, over here is the icon right here. It's a little hard to see with my background, I guess. But if you go ahead and right click on the icon, go down the properties. Now in here, it's this dash W is not required. That makes it windowed mode. But what I have here, when I move it over, there's a space and then dash W that makes it windowed mode, not required, but I usually play with that. The important thing is to have a space dash act five. That's important because if you have that dash act five, your character, when you create a new one, will start off in act five at level 33. As you may know, the Larzic Socket Quest is a reward for the very first quest in Act 5 that is not hard to get to. So I'm going to just go ahead and double click on this and fire it up. Come into the game here and you can see here's my, my little old window of Diablo 2. Now we're going to go to single player. We're going to go to create character and then just create a sorceress. We're going to call that sorceress. But sure, why not? And we're going to go ahead into the game. Now what I would generally go ahead and do is put some points here into vitality it's gonna take me a minute to click that just in case you get hit so you don't die and then i put a ton into energy because you're, you're essentially just going to be teleporting out to shank and taking him out as for over here you want to get uh, a point into warmth at least you want to get a point into teleport and generally i just go ahead and dump one point in the blizzard and one in the cold mastery just to go ahead and take out shank when we do get out there but what i will do is go ahead and dump a bunch of points and teleport because you don't want to your man is going to run out it's just going to run out i'm telling you so we go ahead and do that and then we'll go ahead and put the rest into warmth to, so that our mana will regenerate as we're going now all you got to do is go ahead and teleport out there and take out shank essentially it can take a little bit because, like I said, you don't have any gear or anything like that, but just go ahead and spend the minute or minute and a half it takes to take out Shank and all of his minions. So now the Shank is taken out, you see the firing down, important. Just go ahead and save and exit. Do not come up to the waypoint over here or anything like this, because once you click on this, you will see you cannot come back to Act 5, you didn't complete any of the quests, you would have to go back to the Rogue Encampment. Do not go back to the Rogue Encampment. Very important, just don't even worry about that. Just go ahead and save and exit. You are done what i will show you real quick is just to show you yes the larzic quest is now there even though you can't get any of the quests it's just on act one it doesn't show you it you did actually complete the quest technically right there go ahead and add sockets don't do anything with that yet just go ahead to save and exit the game so now you have to go ahead and locate where your diablo 2 save files are they're either in that same location or just go into your normal hard drive go to diablo 2 go to saves and they will be there you can see right there now what I'm going to go ahead and do is do almost exactly the same as with the last one. I'm taking my old Diablo 2 LOD character and we are copying it. Go ahead and close that, open up save games, and I'm going to go ahead and paste the character in here. You notice there's less number of characters or different uh, files or whatever. Don't worry about that. That's because you're only in normal. It doesn't have all the same amount of data. You don't need the, all the different stuff for hell and this and that. The Conan one is huge. This one is an old school LOD file and it is smaller. It'll work perfectly fine. So now that we have this saved into our socket quest, this will be our socket quest character for eternity for the end of time. You will do nothing else with this. You can leave this file anywhere you want to in the game you, or on your computer and you just go ahead and keep it. So just go ahead and we will copy it. And now we're going to go ahead and close that. We're going to go to our saved games for Diablo 2 Resurrected, open it up and we'll go ahead and control V and paste it into here. And there is but right underneath Bob Zombie. Now we're gonna go ahead and fire up Diablo 2 Resurrected, and I will show you that it is there and that Sock Quest will indeed work. And here we are, Diablo 2 Resurrected, go offline and boom, there is our Sorceress character that has the Socket Quest. So the character is obviously empty, whatever you had on it in the old school LOD will be here. 
over the shared stash. There's the one we larzic from the last method, actually. And now we just got some random weapon and we're gonna do it similar to before. Go ahead and throw it in here. It didn't have any sockets. We went ahead and added sockets to it. It actually got two in this magic sword. So if you wanna keep that item and you wanna keep socketing stuff, you can go ahead and throw this in here. And then you go ahead and repeat the process. Go into the saved games, Diablo 2 Resurrected. Go to this character, go ahead and delete it. Make sure you double, triple, quadruple check. You're always deleting characters from the proper folder at the proper time. We'll close that out. Open up this socket quest. Copy the character, close that, open up the save games folder, paste it back in, there is the character, and fire up Diablo 2 Resurrected again. Once again, back in here, we'll go offline, there is the character, it looks exactly the same as when we left it, but now, indeed, I will show you that Saki Quest will be returned on this character for you to use as many times as you want to socket as much stuff as you want. Boom, it's right there. So that's what I would recommend. If you want to keep a socket quest for literally ever, just go ahead and keep this folder on your windows right here with your open socket quest character.